there, good morning. This is Kosovo. What a beautiful day. March 13th, 2022, 10.30 in the morning, 36 degrees Fahrenheit, about uh, two or three degrees Celsius. I'm on the edge of Prizren, the second largest city of Kosovo. The Prizren River here, small little river. I'm going to uh, walk down along the river. There is town. Just arrived yesterday coming from Albania. My first time to Kosovo. You can see up there the uh, wall of the fort. I will probably check that out sometime later, but uh, for now I'm just going to walk into the city, give you a little taste of this uh, little known European city that is very lovely and peaceful. At least it is peaceful now, of course, there was war in this region back in the 90s. Kosovo is a disputed country that is not officially recognized by the United Nations. They claim independence, but Serbia claims that it is part of Serbia. I remember the uh, Balkans war on the news in the 90s. I was in my 20s. didn't really understand very well what it was all about, as I think is the case with most Americans, even though the United States was very directly involved. But uh, this part of the world in general was not, and is not, very well understood by Americans and the purpose of the war and what was really going on I think was not you know all that uh, clear but it was definitely a very intense war scene for many years but uh, seems to be very peaceful now so that is great news. Today is a Sunday, so it is especially quiet, although I'm not sure yet whether Sunday is actually a uh, day off, because Prizren here is 96% Muslim. You will see many mosques soon. But it definitely has that Sunday feel. Of course, Friday is the Muslim holy day. I am just barely starting to learn a little bit about uh, this country of Kosovo. So, one of the reasons that I wanted to come to Kosovo, other than just to see it, curious to see it, and find out what's going on here, what it's, you know, all about, is that it was the last country of the Balkans that I hadn't been to yet. So, the uh, Balkans region is kind of a bit vague exactly what are Balkan countries. It's just kind of an invented term to refer to this, you know, part of the world in general. But uh, I was just reading about it online and apparently there's a little bit of Italy that is actually considered part of the Balkans. Greece is part of the Balkans. And then all of the Yugoslavian countries, previously Yugoslavia, Slovenia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, North Macedonia or Macedonia, Kosovo, Albania, Bulgaria, I think part of Romania, and then even part of Turkey is considered within that general idea of the uh, Balkans region. But uh, Kosovo is the last country that I hadn't been to yet. So I have kind of put the last piece of the puzzle in place in this part of the world. Pretty cool. I'm not sure how long I will be here in Kosovo. Certainly not too long, but... Uh, 
As I said, I arrived yesterday. I have a hotel here for three nights. Look at that view, the uh, snow-covered mountains. You can see again the fort wall up there, the mosques, the river, and getting into the city here. So Prizren here is the second largest city of Kosovo. The capital and largest city is Pristina. I will definitely head there as well. I'm considering renting a car to explore around and see more of the country. It is a small country, so probably in a few days I can see like most of the main places. So I will look into that. Rent a car and get around to see more of the country. Looking forward to it. I know just so little about this country. I haven't found out what other places, sites, things there are to see and do here, but it is always very interesting to come to a place that you haven't been to before, that you aren't very familiar with, that you haven't, you know, seen much about in the news, you know, in movies or whatever, like, this is such a little known part of the world to most of the world outside of this uh, general area. So as you can see, not a whole lot of people out and about on a Sunday. But uh, this city is definitely seriously worth a visit. Classic old cobblestone lanes here and bridges and fountains and a more modern area which I will get into in the course of this video. Just gonna keep on walking. Okay, we got a nice market here. I need one to uh, get some various supplies. My hotel is, I think, that might be it straight up ahead there. Okay, let's uh, get back over to the river and show the main pedestrian uh, walking area with all the restaurants that I walked through a little bit yesterday, but it was dark. So the languages of Prizren and uh, Kosovo are Albanian, Serbian, and English is also very widely spoken, so I've found so far. Look at that. Incredible uh, sight there of the mosque on the river, so uh, let's head over there. This looks like it must be a hammam. Baths. I'm gonna have to check that out later, see if it's uh, open and working. Especially in winter here, get uh, warmed up in some hot water. All right, so things are definitely getting a little more interesting now. Istanbul restaurant. There are some good dishes here. I ate at a restaurant over there last night. I had the pide and uh, another very interesting one. So there is a very, very strong 
Turkish influence because of the Ottoman... the Ottoman occupation of the area, which uh, dominated just this whole region for centuries and centuries, around 400 years or so. So they use the euro in Kosovo. ATM right there, got uh, some euros. Of course, the uh, currency of much of Europe. That's my hotel. About uh, $52 a night for a nice room. So you can imagine, in uh, summer, in the high season, this must be a nice, busy area here. Because this is just an ultimate scene. This is the restaurant that I ate at last night. Great food at the ATM there. I was charged, uh, I think five euros to withdraw, so a bit of a hefty uh, fee. And I was also asked about the exchange rate situation that I've mentioned in previous videos in which basically they're just trying to straight up rip you off. This was after I had agreed to the five euros, and then next, it offered to withdraw the money in US dollars from my bank account, which means that they are offering to make the conversion, and it is at a bad rate. They even told you, 6% markup. So basically, you're just gonna pay 6% more for absolutely no reason at all. So you just decline. All you do is just say no. Just uh, choose the local currency, in this case the euro, and you'll save yourself 6% of the 300 euros that I withdrew. 18 euros or 20 bucks. So they're just trying to rip you off for $20 for nothing. So here we have a church. Prisren is... 3% Roman Catholic. And as I said, 95% Muslim. But I think that that uh, demographic statistic changes considerably in other parts of Kosovo. Prizren is also ethnically 82% Albanian. Albania is very, very close. Just like 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers or something away. Nineteen sixty one to nineteen ninety eight. Hero Combat, I guess like combat hero, Kevat a Berisha. So this must be of course referencing the uh, Balkans War, the Kosovo War. Died in nineteen ninety eight. So uh, let's cross over the river and then keep walking into the uh, more modern part of the city. 
definitely getting a good taste of uh, the various sides of Prizren. Having spent a week in Tirana, Prizren just feels so low-key. Tirana is pretty intense. Tirana, capital of Albania. It has much more of that big city feeling. But it is not all that far away. As I showed in my previous two videos, the journey getting from Tirana to uh, Prizren yesterday, then eventually I ended up on a bus that was coming directly from Tirana. And so it's only around three hours, maybe a little longer, on the bus from Tirana, which is smack in the middle of Albania. So you go halfway through Albania and then Prizren here is very close to the border, so you don't have to go far into Kosovo. But uh, this is a very compact part of the world with all these fairly small countries. Skopje, capital of Macedonia, is, uh, I think, actually closer than Pristina, capital of Kosovo. So I'm definitely getting the sense that Sunday is, in fact, a day off. And that is partly why it is so quiet. Also, just winter and COVID. You know. But uh, it really has that Sunday kind of a feel. So uh, I think that is going to do it for uh, Prisren. I guess this will just be my video of the city. There's certainly probably some other things to uh, see, including the fort up there. But, you know, I just walked through quite a lot of the town, so... We'll see. I have another day tomorrow. And uh, so maybe I'll do a little bit more filming. We'll see. Take it easy.